This is Ling270, Language, Technology, and Society. We now conclude Module 1 with a review of the important concepts and learning objectives from this module. In Chapter 1, we explored the differences between humans and other animals in terms of use of tools and complexity of communication systems. We defined language and examined the defining characteristics of language. Specifically, language has a large number of basic elements, morphemes and words, and a rich set of ways to combine these basic elements into more complex elements, clauses, and eventually sentences. There is, in principle, no predetermined limit on the number of and the size of these complex elements. We examine the history of the development of writing, including the pictographic and token theories of language development, as well as the Rebus principle and the acrophonic principle. In chapter two, we established that writing is a technology. Importantly, we determined that writing is a system of symbols that encodes language using conventions. We established that the symbols that encode writing encode the sounds of language and that this is true even in Chinese. In chapter two, we explored in depth examples of attempted systems that tried to diverge from specific languages and away from convention. We explored the 17th century search for universal language and its modern counterpart in bliss symbolics. We looked at the Voyager program and the golden records that accompanied those spacecraft. And we looked at the waste isolation pilot plant and the attempt in that project to communicate with people in the far distant future, up to 10,000 years from the present. Let's now reiterate the learning objectives from Module 1. Having completed Module 1, you should now be able to define language and provide defining characteristics of language. You should be able to define critical characteristics that differentiate humans from other animals. You should be able to define the pictographic theory of language origins and be able to provide a critical argument against the pictographic theory. You should be able to define the token theory of language origins and you should be able to provide a critical argument in favor of the token theory. You should be able to describe the sequence of events in symbol theory's proposed development of written language. You should be able to define the rebus principle and the acrophonic principle and recognize and give examples of each principle in action.
you should now be able to explain the relationships between the following concepts. System of symbols, writing, and language. You should now be able to understand and explain why all symbol systems depend on conventions for meaning. You should be able to recognize and provide examples of proposed symbol systems that attempted to diverge from specific languages and from existing conventions. And you should be able to meaningfully critique the shortcomings of each of these proposed symbol systems. Finally, you should be able to recognize and explain how writing is a technology. This concludes Module 1 of LING 270, Language, Technology, and Society.